Hello and welcome back to the Cove with more Surviving Mars Green Planet. We are just working on our medium dome, our very first major uh, reasonably Acceptor sized scan. dome, which is very, very nice. We, so here we go, we're about to finally get that sorted. We have some exports going back to Earth, so that'll give us some nice cash. I think we'll bring back some uh, some people as well, and uh, we're going to get everything running very, very smoothly. We're also working on our Hawking Institute, just a little bit of concrete away from being able to get that up and running. And then at that point, we're going to uh, really kick up our research game. So, uh, now that we've got that set, let's quickly go ahead and uh, make sure that we have some... Uh, what is it? Tunnels? No, tunnels aren't quite right. We want uh, the... Uh, the domes. We want the passages between them. We can now start connecting and uh, see what we have here. So let's go with a... Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and pop this... Hang on a second. Can we uh, rotate around the other way? We can. Alright, so... Hmm. Where do we want to put this? I think... Let's go ahead and we'll place this one here. That seems reasonable. Uh, we do need to go ahead and place yeah, another one of uh, these. So that's going to be slightly in the way. I guess we go... Hmm. Yeah, we might need to move these. So what have we got here? We have a rare metals deposit and food. Yeah, let's move the rare metals. Uh, that'll be fine. We'll go ahead and let's create an alternate storage for this. Uh, let's see. Rare metals. And we'll pop that slightly further down. What's its current setting? Set to 15. Let's do the same thing here. And then we can deconstruct that. So let's salvage. Uh, so that is sorted. And then... Hmm. You know what? I do want to get rid of this school, but I don't think we have quite enough electronics to rebuild everything as it stands. Yeah, we'll only get three, so I think we're going to have to wait for a second, but that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and start getting some new buildings sorted. Uh, let's go ahead and... First of all, we should probably go ahead and build an apartment that will be necessary. Let's throw this... Uh, let's put that there. I think that seems like a good spot. Uh, let's also go ahead and... You know, for now, let's not worry about any of the extra bits and pieces. Uh, you know what? We should probably build a nursery, though, if we're going to have a school here. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and build that in... Actually, you know what? We'll use that to shuffle in here, but we'll do that later. Uh, let's also make sure that we have our life support set up. Now, I know that technically, as long as these are connected by a passageway, we can get life support. Uh, but we do need to make sure that it has its own redundancies, just in case something ever ba something bad ever happens. So, let's go ahead and let's build our moisture evaporator. Or, uh, actually, hang on. Before we do that, pipes. Uh, let's see. How do we connect this to the network? Hmm. Uh, let's see. We could technically build down there through here. Uh, let's see. What is another way we could go? We could just go from dome to dome. I suppose that's not the worst way of doing things. Uh, if we did do that, yeah, the passage does technically get in the way. And unless we go from here to there, and I think that that might be our, yeah, our easiest solution. So we'll go ahead and tie that in over here. Um, hmm, actually, you know what? Uh, let's go... Yeah, I think that should be fine. I, I do wonder whether about if uh, placing it over here will uh, technically connect that into the grid. And whether we need an extra valve. Uh, but for now, let's see if that is good enough. So we'll get that sorted. Uh, we'll also now go ahead and build another moisture evaporator over here. Alright, oh, uh, before that, let's go with a water tower. Uh, that'll be necessary. 
Uh, let's go and put that there. Let's also go ahead and get ourselves an extra oxygen tank. Uh, let's see about... You know what? Let's just place this a little bit further across. Uh, we'll tie that in. Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, no, that'll be fine. That still leaves those doors open in case anything needs to get through there. Uh, we'll also go ahead and build our moist vaporator now. We can put we can put that right about... Actually, you know what? We'll let a few things finish and then we'll do it. Uh, but before I forget, let's also make sure that we have a ramp. A ramp going across that could be very beneficial. Just avoid any issues for our drones. Making sure that we have all that accessibility that we need. Uh, so, let's see. Where is it? Uh, hang on a second. Whoops. Uh, what am I commanding? I do not know. Alright, well, we'll figure that out. Uh, let's see. Passage ramp. There we have it. Uh, we need... Ooh, okay. See, this is why we're checking some things right about now. Let's uh, cancel the construction there. That would not be very ideal. And then we can go... Yeah, it looks like here is the only position that is available. So let's pop that there. Uh, we'll work on that. And we'll see how we go. Alright, so uh, that'll do nicely. Some extra apartments. That'll be good for us. That'll mean that everybody can uh, start working there. We will also deal with our homeless issue. Uh, we'll definitely build more than just the one. We'll probably end up building a second one over here. Uh, but again, for now, I think it won't matter too much. Alright, so we've got that going. Uh, let's see, what else do we need? We're going to need more power, but again, that's uh, that's not a serious issue. We'll have engineers coming back, and I believe in the very near future, we're going to have a few people popping uh, out with either some yeah, botany, engineering, medics, or scientists. So, uh, yeah. Either way, it doesn't matter. Let's check the anomaly. Our explorer just got into a pretty serious accident. Oh dear. The good news is, it's still in one piece. Uh, the vehicle stumbled upon a crust fault, which could have lasted for a couple hundred years under the slow erosion of the planet. Disturbed by the mechanical motion of the scanning probes, the surface opened up like a wound and swallowed the rover. Luckily, only a dozen, for only a dozen meters. The sturdy machine got out of the hole, but nevertheless, it sustained heavy damage. Uh, millions of years ago, Mars had been shaken to its core by a by cataclysmic impact, which sealed the fate of the planet. Since then, Mars, like all giants, is dying. Uh, too slow for our mortal eyes to witness, yet even today, the death throes of the Red Planet can be felt unmistakably. Okay, so the RC Explorer is in a little bit of peril. Uh, let's just see, that was all the way down... I believe it was all the way down here. Yeah, that's a... That's a very difficult situation for us to get to. Alright, well, since that is the case, we do have a rescue option. Let's find our commander drone. Ah, you're who we moved across before. Alright. Fantastic. Uh, let's take a drone, say... Come on, little guy. Here we go. Going to the polymer factory. Now, you can go ahead and assign to this commander. And now you, my little drone friend, can go all the way down over here and we will repair you. That should be fine. I don't think it'll cost us too much. Uh, it's just malfunctioning, so... Yeah, at least we have that sorted. Which will be nice. Alright, so, uh, let's see, almost halfway back with, uh, oh no, halfway back to Earth, that is coming along nicely, oh right, and uh, we should also rename our dome, yes, I even made a note before we started, but I forgot, let's go ahead and rename this one, I think we're going to go with Jasper for this one, Oop. there we go, uh, yeah, I think that's not a bad, I, a, uh, yeah, that's a nice gemstone, it'll, it'll do well for this. Uh, do we want to go for some extra polymers for, for, uh, metals?
Well, you know, at the moment, I believe some of our buildings that we're going to be building up, that will cost us a bit. We'll use a few of these. We'll be using a few for... Oh, no, wait a second. We may not need as many as I thought we needed. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we don't actually need too much in the way of uh, polymers at the moment. It seems that we have enough to get things done. Let's just check some of our services. Oh, you know what? We could technically open up a... What is it? Is it an art store? Yeah, get some extra luxury and shopping. Uh, surface comfort is fairly nice. It does consume a few polymers. Uh, that could be something we could work our way towards. Uh, same with the art workshop, which I think is a superior version of the art store. Oh, we could also build up another gym. Even an amusement park. Yeah, we do need workers for that, but again, that's... Uh, yeah, not the worst things for us. All right, what about these other... Oh, wait a second. They don't really tell us what they cost. Okay. Um, hmm. You know what? We have enough for now. I think we've had some better trade offers than 28. I think it's the others have been 30 or above. Uh, let's leave India for now. If they uh, come back for a better trade, maybe we'll think about it. But as it stands, I think we're fine. Uh, okay. Complete. All right, research is complete for our rover command. This is fantastic. That now means I no longer have to worry about multiple issues because we can now go ahead and say automated mode. Yes, please. You will gather resources automatically. So that's sorted. Uh, the RC Explorer, we will also set that to automated mode. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just call back our RC Commander at some point. That seems fine by me. All right. So, uh, let's see. We're losing a whole stack of power right now. I guess that's no real surprise. Oh, it's our uh, Hawking Institute. That's up and running, isn't it? Right, yo. So, uh, everybody, let's go ahead and take all of our scientists and shut that down. Let's go for our restrictions of specialists only. And uh, let's say goodbye. So all of you should, uh, yep, there we go, have popped over there. And then, let's see, we have another four scientists. Let's take... Hmm. Oh, hang on a second. Yeah, this could be a little bit of trouble. We might need to uh, move them over here. Alright, uh, well, you know what? We'll just do the... Uh, do it the slow way. We'll do uh, turn that on. We'll turn up the second shift as well. We'll slowly... Wait a second slowly uh, reset everybody else to where they need to be. Just to make sure that they are doing their job. And I think that's about all. Yeah, okay, so we'll give that a minute. Resources are low. Uh, yeah, all of them, that's fine. We have some non-specialized individuals, but that's okay. We'll probably send them to some other jobs maybe some service industry that could be nice uh so that'll be good uh let's also see about what do we need that ramp's gonna take a little bit of time water tower let's make that a higher priority right now i want to make sure that that uh, we get some individualized life support just in case we need to shut the shut down the passageway uh, and uh, yet yeah, that way we can also set up some valves, make sure that we don't lose anything under uh, under detrimental circumstances. All right, and it does look like we are using too much power, it seems. Yeah, we're losing a considerable amount of power. Okay, so we're going to need to change. Uh, first of all, let's go ahead and... Let's turn off oh wait a second yeah let's turn off this research lab or make it a low priority if we've got other jobs that these guys can be doing that's better yeah they should be at the rare metals extractor uh so that'll be fine let's go ahead and do we just turn off this place i don't think it's the most ridiculous idea 
Yeah, I think. Uh, what have we got here? No specialization there either. Mm, okay. I definitely do need a few more medics. Uh, let's go and... Yeah, since we're, we no longer have any scientists in this building that I can see, I think we turn this off. Uh, we'll save ourselves a little bit of power and maintenance for now. Uh, yeah, we're going to get better returns elsewhere. We'll go ahead and we'll enable... Let's see, the diner. Let's uh, open up a couple of jobs there in case people need them. And same for the... Well, you know what? No, that's about it. Yeah, that seems fine. So what have we got here? No specialization. Let's send you elsewhere. Uh, let's go to maybe... Let's open up a few more uh, spaces here in the fusion reactor. Uh, we'll open that up as well. In fact, you know what? Yeah, we'll just leave it as two people. They can work out where they need to work. Uh, that should save us a little bit. And then, let's see, what else do we want to do? We're losing a whole stack of power and we really don't want to. We've got more fuel than we actively need, so let's quickly turn off our fuel refinery. That will also help out our brand new water tower. That'll start filling up a little bit quicker uh, because we're reducing our, our demands. And then, let's see, what else could we do? Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, set that to uh, overtime. That is very nice. 938 science. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm not seeing too much more for now. We'll just... Uh yeah, we'll hope that a few people work at the fusion reactor. Uh, that'll... Yeah, I'm not too concerned. In fact, you know what? Let's go ahead and tell this uh, unspecialized individual. You can go ahead and tr uh, work on the power situation. Uh, we do have a couple of homeless, but again, that's about to be fixed in all of uh, two minutes here with this new... Uh, with this new apartment building. Uh, let's go ahead and see about a couple more passengers. So let's see, what have we got here? We can call in another scientist. I think that's, oh wait a second. Let's go through what we've already got collected. We have scientists, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hang on a second. We have a, uh, let's kick out the senior. The senior is definitely not wanted. All right, so we have uh, six scientists. That's not bad. A couple of botanists isn't terrible either. An engineer, a few geologists. I think we need less geologists. So let's go ahead and we'll get rid of the middle-aged and we'll keep... Who's the other one? We have that geologist here. Uh, the workaholic and religious. You know what? Yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep one of them. Uh, so that should fill out our shift at the, uh, yeah, fill out the shift in the, what do we call it, rare metals uh, plant. We can then go ahead and I think, hmm, let's get rid of some of these, who, who do we want scientists was? Yeah, six is fine. Again, there's not going to be kind of a, an upper limit to what we want there. We can always open up more and get more science, which I'm happy with the idea of. Uh, realistically, we probably want a couple more engineers if possible. So let's go ahead and pick some of them up. Uh, an adult engineer, that should be fine. Same with that. Yep. And let's see, anybody else who fits our criteria so far? middle-aged not as beneficial uh yeah you know what i think we leave her behind yeah she is a loner it's gonna start getting a little bit more busy so i'm not sure if that's the best thing for her uh, so we'll leave that be uh let's see we could also take mm, there's no medics no ball uh could take a botanist I think maybe we have a look at our filters. Let's just see what we've got. 
Uh, we have a couple of floors that we've turned off. Yeah, chronic conditions. Uh, we're not a huge fan of cowards either. Uh, yeah, definitely don't want idiots because we don't want uh, those accidents. That could be rather uh, detrimental and lazy isn't exactly helpful for us either. Uh, where's the sanity one on low comfort? I think we can probably ignore that these days. Uh, lazy, that we're not going to take that. Melancholic, that should be okay. Uh, let's see, a glutton. I think we have enough food at this stage and can avoid things, so we'll let that open back up again. Uh, we're going to keep the chronic conditions turned off. I think that that's quite a... Uh, yeah, losing health every day is not exactly a good thing for us. And I think that will probably do. So we'll apply those. Does that change anything? Hmm. Not greatly. I think we need a whole stack more engineers. So... Oh, there's one. Oh, again, the, just that one middle-aged. Okay, uh, let's see. What else can we get rid of? Perks. Have we turned anything off in particular? Not really. We have some preferences, but we don't have anything that is uh, said no towards. Uh, let's go for... Let's go for specializations. And you know what? Let's go ahead and mark that as an important thing right now. Uh, same with the medics. That could potentially be helpful. So let's see. Uh, let's search out the medics first, because I know that we need a couple of them. Uh, let's see. What are their issues? Wait a second. Uh, oh, right. We've changed things around again, haven't we? Okay. So, oh, you know what? The winery is all right. Yeah, we'll keep that uh, medic. We'll keep lazy. Uh, I really don't like lazy very much. It's just a... Uh, I suppose if we did go for one of our other techs, that would give them an extra 10 performance. So that would only be a negative 10. 10. But again, we certainly can't afford that at the beginning of the game. Uh, I guess that will probably be worthwhile. Uh, again, let's make sure that... Of course, I kind of forgot that when we change our filtered settings that it kicks out the people that you had unless you lock them in. Let's get rid of the seniors. Uh, Got to do all of that over again. And you know what? I'll just uh, show you what I come up with in two seconds. Okay, so we have our list, and it's not too bad. So we have, uh, yeah, we've gone ahead and we've picked up as many good people as we can. Uh, everyone who's not taken is uh, for a reason. We've taken, uh, let's see, six out of the 11 engineers. Uh, there's two of them that the uh, very bottom here. They're both lazy, and I really don't like that. And also one of them is middle-aged, so they're the reasons why they're not there. The others are seniors that are engineers, so we don't have them to worry about. I've picked up a new botanist to help out with our farming. Just make sure that we have uh, a botanist available at all times, or a spare one, so we either produce slightly more food, or have uh, someone still working there when one retires. We've got six engineers, they're all decent. Uh, there are a couple who are gluttons, but again, at this point, it's nothing huge to our uh, economy, so I'm not too concerned. We've got one geologist to make up that space in the rare metals facility. We're bringing on two medics out of, well, all of the medics that have applied, uh, just help keep our infirmaries up and running. We're bringing in a new officer as well, and then we're bringing in nine scientists. So the ones that we haven't really taken, there are some that could be good, but I've opted for the youngest among them and with the best traits. So there are a couple of middle-aged who have been left behind, uh, but again, that's uh, just the things you need to do when colonizing a planet. So let's go ahead and send these guys over. Uh, there's only space for two new residents in the colony. We're going to launch it anyway, that is fine. Uh, we're going to have more facilities built up for them as they get here. Oh, and would you look at that? We already have room for them, so kind of a non-issue. All right, so a couple of those engineers, they're definitely going to be working in the fusion reactor. Uh, that'll do nicely. We'll also get the... Uh, probably that is our priority. 
Uh, other than that, we'll be working on the Hawking Institute. And uh, yeah, those are the main things. We'll make sure that our facilities for our electronics and our machine parts are maintained. Uh, but for now, these small machine parts factories, they're doing perfectly fine. So we don't need the larger variety at this stage. We're just going to make sure that we have enough workforce to uh, get through what we need. Alright, so uh, looks like we've got another trade offer. Again, if it's less than 30 polymers, I don't think that we care. Uh, we are short on power, so I think we should probably start turning off a few buildings if we're to be wise. Yeah, we're really getting quite short on things. Let's go ahead and... Uh, just to minimize our losses, let's quickly turn off one of these moisture evaporators. That's fine. We're still producing more than we need by a small fraction, so that's all well and good. Uh, from there, let's go ahead and... Uh, we've turned off the fuel refineries, so that's okay. Uh, Moxies, we are producing... Alright, let's see. We could probably go ahead and go for some magnetic filtering. Yeah, that's probably not a bad thing for us. Let's go ahead and build that over here. Uh, this is one of our more centralized moxies. So, uh, yeah, if one of these breaks, we can still get uh, oxygen to somewhere else with those minimal issues. Uh, we'll go ahead and upgrade that. That doesn't require more power, luckily. So we'll go ahead and turn off this other one. Uh, so that should be fine. Uh, yes, it does say we're losing two oxygen, but again, it won't be that way for very long. Uh, we can also then go ahead and... Let's see, what else can we disable? Uh, technically, there is the metals extractor, but I think we keep that up and running. I think we go... Uh, we're going to need a bit more power. I think, uh, let's see, that's turned off. That one's turned off. Uh, what is another really power-hungry building that we have? I'm not too sure. Um, hmm. Okay, how much life support have we got at the moment? We've got enough for a day's worth of water. We could just turn them all. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's another 30 power. That's not the end of the world at all. Yeah. Um, all right. We may have the polymer factory up and running at this stage. Uh, let's see. What hour on are we on? Hour 12. So you know what? That polymer factory is going to turn off. That'll save us another 20 power. So that'll put us back in the clear. So there is that option. Hmm. Uh, and then we also need... Let's see. What else could we do? Maybe we just shuffle... You know what? Yeah, let's get some of these other people working elsewhere. We don't need quite as many polymers right now. Let's send you to the power station there since you don't have specialty. And same for you as well. Yeah, that'll be that'll be the uh, best way to get through this, I think. Uh, so, let's see. That should mean that we're increasing our power output. That should give us enough that we are... Yeah, we're only very slowly discharging power now. Yeah. Uh, we need just a little bit more. Let's turn off... Do we turn off one more? Uh, yes, but we're going to make sure, of course, that we're turning off the least efficient first. Make sure that we're in the clear. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we've got a little bit of extra power. Uh, this could be a bit of a dicey night tonight. But hopefully when we arrive, we'll have the engineers that we can staff this facility Sector to 10. its fullest. Uh, in fact, just as preparation, let's go ahead and open that up. Uh, we should have yeah, plenty of large wind turbines and all of that. Uh, let's go ahead and let's see. We've got Martian-born adaptability coming up soon. Same with the, uh, yeah, the amplifier, which again will cost us more power. Uh, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue soon. Then we have Rapid Sleep, Martian-born Adaptability, and then from here, I think we go ahead and pick up the Auto-Regulator. 
there we go. That's probably a very wise thing. Try and make sure that we have as minimal issues with our power. Also allows us to, I'm pretty sure, halve the amount of workers that we would be employing here. So that'll, uh, because again, it just increases the building's performance. So that should be very nice. All right, so we've got that all sorted. Uh, we do need, oh, we need some water pipes for that uh, over there. Let's make sure that that's done. I guess I didn't realize that it wasn't quite connected. So we'll let that happen. Uh, let's also go ahead and, because we know that it needs to occur, let's put this... Uh, let's put this there. Uh, actually, hang on a second. That's uh, slightly outside of range of the... Uh, of the triple electric scrubber. But you know what? I think if we turn things around... Yeah, there we go. That should be sufficient. We can increase the piping just a little bit further. That's not going to make any trouble. Uh, so we'll tie that in. And then we'll also go ahead and build in a pipe valve over here. Again, just in case oh, the worst should happen. Uh, you know, we'll also put in that pipe valve over there. Make sure that these uh, buildings can be isolated from one another if necessary. Alright. Alright, so I think that's good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, power's not going to be too much of an issue. That'll get automatically uh, set up into the grid, which does cost us some power, but we'll turn that off for now. Get that hydroscopic coating as well for that extra water. And I think that should be fairly good. Yeah, let's also go ahead and... Do we build a second set of apartments? I think it's not unreasonable. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to build that over here. Uh, we need. I think this is the best place for us to increase our uh, population. Make sure that we're focusing on these science buildings as much as we can. Get people living near where they work for efficiency. Uh, we'll go ahead and... Yeah, we need to wait a little bit on those electronics. I do want to uh, move this school so we can tie this building in and... Uh, Oh, you know what? We can uh, tie in that one as well. So let's go ahead and get that done before I forget. Uh, so let's go with the passage passageway. Let's go from here. We'll run across. Um. Hmm. Hold your proverbial horses. That's not quite right. Oh, of course we built this in the uh, very slightly awkward position. If only... Uh... Oh, wait a second. Left click. Uh, outside passage to create turns. And Okay, so never mind. We can still do this. Uh, just checking that we read the tooltip properly. There we go. We can get that to work. That'll do nicely. Uh, let's also make sure that we have that passage ramp. That can go... Oh, dear. You know what? Uh, let's just quickly cancel that. Yeah, we're going to need to get rid of that. Let's go ahead and... I forget that these things are built instantly for us. Uh, so, demolished in one second. There we go. Let's build our ramp. Uh, where can we find a spot that doesn't cause issues? Alright, I guess we're just going to have to go ahead and uh, build this here. Uh, it's not exactly the prettiest... But it'll be fine. Alright, fine. We just, uh... Come on. Let's go ahead. We'll build here. Uh, so let's turn that there. Go down a little bit. And then we'll just go straight in this way. Yeah, that'll be fine. I don't think... Yeah, that would have counted as part of the dome surrounding anyway. So we're not losing out on any extra spot. Uh, let's build this in the center. Okay. And all of our little drones can do as they need, and they will still be able to do their jobs, which is excellent. Uh, but this will also help with uh, some of these things here yeah, as we uh, slowly begin to sort our way through things. 
All right, well, it looks like we have a power surge, but uh, I think that is going to be an issue for tomorrow as we sort things out. So if you do want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It is the best way to catch all future content, and I'll see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to The Leviathan Cove. This is The Leviathan, signing out. Thank you.